Hello everybody and a special warm welcome to Hawk Elementary and Island Elementary and yes we do we have the most special creatures we could possibly ask for in the form of two leopards so this is very rare it's amazing to see one leopard but to see two leopards is incredibly special and it's a mommy and nutty leopard so it's a male in front this is the big dominant king of the leopard kingdom here in this area and he is striding look at him coming past he's a really big male and you can see he's walking with his tail up because because the guinea fowl are shouting at him that's why he's walking like this and then to his left is his female partner now leopards generally are on their own they're not normally in groups together so to see two together is very special indeed and you can see look they're coming past the car and they're actually going to walk straight into a lodge now for those of you that don't know who I am as Jamie said my name is Tristan and on camera today I have Senzo and remember you can send your questions through to part with your teacher and we'll try and answer as many as possible and Unfortunately though, I don't know how much longer we're going to have our leopards for because they are going into Chitwa camp. You can see there is a little fence here and that's because there is so we get lots of tourists here and they cross under these fences and they're going through the camp We're gonna try and keep up with them along the side of the camp and hope that they come out because there's people in the camp Lots of the times they will come out and they'll move in this direction So hopefully we will be able to see them again. It's going to be a bit of a while until they come out I'm gonna try just oh they're chasing some guinea fowls. That's why the guinea fowls are going crazy, which is the birds So let's try and see Oh, it's such a pity. There never used to be a fence here actually when I used to work here. This is just coming so to protect them from the elephants. Lily, you want what the leopards look like when they are young? Well, leopards look very similar when they're young. They're actually a little bit darker because all the spots are still very close together and then it takes time for the spots to expand out to make the beautiful rosettes that we see on these, le these leopards now. So when they're younger, they appear as though they're a little bit more black in coloration, but they are much, much, much smaller. They're only about this size when they're little cubs, when they're born. It's tiny little things and they can't see or anything like that and it takes a few weeks. And once they reach about eight weeks to 12 weeks is when we start to see them coming out of their dens where the mothers hide them. And then you'll find that they start moving around their, with their moms from about three months, you start to see them coming out. And only once they reach about, I would say about eight months, do we see them really kind of coming into their own and starting to hunt for themselves. Now. They have disappeared into this lodge. I can just see the top of one of their heads through this thicket. I don't know if you can see it there, Senzo, just on the other side. It seems as though they're coming, or they're going down towards the lodge, which is not good. I was hoping they were gonna go the other way because the other way would have meant we would have been able to see them, but they're now heading back deeper into this lodge, which is not ideal. So this is the best thing about being out in these areas is that the people that stay here overnight and come to see these play these kind of animals they even have this where leopards are walking right in front of their balcony in the night and isn't that amazing because remember a leopard is generally a shy reclusive animal so we're very lucky to be able to see these leopards and be able to follow them around and to and to get a glimpse of them so those people they are very lucky